Hi, welcome to the seventh clip of using the polyvagal theory to prove our well-being. And this is a second skill in owning and guiding our nervous system, using our senses for regulation and flexibility. Now, how we can use our senses for that flexibility as we get to know our, our nervous system, the signals that smoke detector is taking in, well, that's causing our body to override a lot of our responses. Now, here's some words that you might find helpful. Just understand all this. Arousal, well, that's a level of alertness in the body ranging from high to low. And different activities and environments, well, they're going to need different levels of arousal. Regulation, that's about the ability to adjust the right level of arousal for the right situation, the right environment. Now, your optimum, optimal arousal. That's having the right le re level of arousal that matches what's going on. And it's called just right, as it's more helpful at, say, at nighttime. That lower level of arousal helps us fall asleep. At school or work or at sometimes at home, that higher level of arousal helps us focus and get things done. That high arousal, that fight or flight gets us mobilized to act. And sometimes remember, there's no right or wrong. That freeze or shutdown can be protective. Now, dysregulated, that's not being negative. That just means our nervous system is not having the right emotion or, re or reaction to what, what's going to help us. So we're dysregulated. So we can use our body and senses to distract our nervous system. That helps us then, you know, refocus. Now, the five senses, what we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we touch, and taste, those five senses, taking in information, sometimes we can use our senses to increase our arousal, make us more alert, but we can also use our senses as a strategy to calm down, to slow it all down. Now, important thing to say, there is not one size fits all for using our senses. We're all different, and people are going to find different things that are helpful. Different strategies help different people. Find what works for you, whether you need to increase your arousal or slow it down. Now, the other thing I'm going to say, if it's not working, stop doing it. If it creates more distress, then that's a signal, as we said in the beginning of this clip, well, go talk to somebody. But we can use our senses to increase that regulation. Now, some sensory you know, input, well, that's going to make us more alert. Others are going to help us calm down. You find things that work for you. Movement, movement can calm you down to sway or to rock, but it also can energize us, chewing crunchy food, cold foods like frozen food, ice cubes, cold water, heavy work to create resistance, pushing, pulling, carrying something heavy while it's going to arouse us, yoga, meditation, mindfulness, slowing that mind down, we're going to slow our breathing down, our heart rate, hmm. sometimes touch, you wrapping ourselves on a blanket, you know, that kind of containment, that's going to feel us, make us feel more contained and calm us down. Sometimes just having a quiet space that can cut out those sensory inputs. Music, slow, gentle music will slow our heart rate down. Well, fast rock music or loud music, well, that's going to speed our heart rate up. Visual, visual displays, things we see can really help people. A lovely picture, a lava lamp, um, sensory rooms are becoming quite popular. Chewy foods, we've already mentioned that, like dried fruit, chewing gum. I can activate this. Linear movement, swaying can help some people. And bilateral movement, using both sides of our body, knitting, walking, swimming. It can use our, our senses in different ways. But other strategies that can help us regulate. Now, talking does help some people calm down when you get what's in here out there. Crying, laughing can distract the nervous system. Breathing, as we've said, is one of the most powerful calming tools we have. And there are strategies we use to rely on more on thinking using the upstairs brain, but more that involve the downstairs brain of calming that nervous system. Some strategies that rely more on thinking, puzzles, uh, coloring books, mindful coloring books, things we distract our nervous system with. Using our senses, find what works for you. To use our senses to either use increase that arousal or calm it down. Our senses are a powerful tool. Those five senses, what we hear, smell, touch, taste, sound.
They really help. Thanks very much. And we'll move now to the third uh, activity, third skill, and that's using our vehicle brake. Thanks very much.